Okay, so uh, so I'm going to give uh, uh, just the status update on cholera control in Zambia. So this is a progress that uh, we have made since uh, we committed ourselves to eliminating cholera uh, in Zambia. So a bit of background, cholera remains a significant public health problem globally. And I must state that uh, we have experienced 31 cholera outbreaks since 1977 the first time that Zambia recorded an outbreak of cholera. And between 1999 and uh, 2017, we have recorded 61,157 cases and 1,832 fatalities with a case fatality of 3%, which is quite high compared to the threshold provided by World Health Organization. The majority of the outbreaks have occurred in Lusaka, uh, Luapula, Copper Belt, Northern, Central, and Southern provinces. We've also seen outbreaks that have been reported along the borders with the DRC, Tanzania, and Zimbabwe. So we can see on the right, this is uh, the historical uh, cholera cases that we've recorded since uh, 1977. On the, on the multi-sectoral cholera elimination plan, we are stating that Zambia remains threatened by recurrent cholera outbreaks. And owing to this, the country has committed to the elimination of cholera. And as already been stated in 2018, uh, as a country proposed a resolution to end cholera in the world by 2030. And after this, we conducted the initial cholera hotspot analysis and mapping. And then we proceeded to prepare a comprehensive and costed multi-sectoral cholera elimination plan to provide the roadmap towards the elimination agenda. In May of 2019, Zambia launched the multi-sectoral cholera elimination plan at the World Health Assembly. We further took a body step and made a legacy goal to eliminate cholera by 2025. This is uh, the costed Zambia cholera elimination plan. So this has been costed based on the thematic areas, which are six of leadership and coordination, surveillance and laboratory case management, community engagement and risk communication, WASH and OCV. Our total budget is approximately 100 million US dollars. Of course, the big chunk, the bigger chunk of this budget is towards uh, WASH, which is just approximately 70% of the budget. What progress have we made in implementing the MECP? First and foremost, and very important point to note is that Zambia has not recorded any cholera outbreak for the past two years. The last one, just as alluded to by Pamela Tsanga from Water 8, was in 2017, 2018 as a major outbreak. The multi-sectoral cholera elimination plan is built on a strong leadership and coordination. It is organized into six thematic areas. And this is what I'll try to look at in terms of what we've been able to do. So under leadership and coordination, the governance is structured, structure rather, anchored in the office of the vice president has been created and it, has, it is being coordinated at two levels. The first one is the police level where we have seen commitment with the creation of the council of ministers. And then we also have a very important body, the epidemic preparedness, prevention, control and management committees that have been created and operational at national and subnational levels. At a technical level, we have the Committee of Permanent Secretaries that are so committed to, to the elimination agenda. We also have the Mount Sector Cholera Elimination Task Force uh, and technical committees that we have established, just like Pamela said, with support from the partners we've been able to establish this. And the National Cholera Elimination Coordinator and technical focal points have actually been appointed. Also to note is that we have been able to operationalize the technical working groups of the Mount Sector Cholera Elimination Plan. What about on improved alert and response? The first one is on surveillance and lab. I must state that we've been able to create a database for cholera and we have looked at the historical data from all the districts in the country. So we have data for the past 10 years on cholera. We've also reviewed uh, the country's cholera hotspots to guide targeted interventions. So the first one was done in 2018. Uh, 2018. Then in 2020, we conducted another hotspot mapping and re reviewed our, our hotspot map. And this is what we are seeing on the, on the right. 
We've also been able to introduce the electronic IDSR in all the districts. This is aimed at capturing data on acute water diarrhea on a weekly basis. All our general hospitals in all the 10 provinces are capacitated to confirm cholera by culture. So what we can see on the right is uh, the cholera hotspots. These are the districts where the cholera burden is highly concentrated. And the one below is the population that are at risk. So we can see that the concentration of the population is actually along where these hotspots are. And therefore, these, these are the areas where we tend to put in a lot of effort and target our intervention so that we can actually stop outbreaks of cholera. <clears throat> On case management, we begin with infrastructure. I must report that we have a successively designated the isolation facilities in all the hotspot districts. And also we have started the rehabilitation of some isolation facilities in some of the hotspots. As you can see on the right, that is one of uh, the isolation facility that uh, we have is being rehabilitated with support from the World Bank. Also land for construction of isolation facility has been allocated from the local authorities in all the hotspots districts. On capacity building, we have integrated training of the RRTs, which we have done in Ebola, COVID, and also cholera in all the 10 provinces. We've also been able to train some community volunteers in selected hotspots. And we've also integrated, we, we are also reviewing the integrated guidelines and SOPs for the management of cholera. On logistics and supplies, we've prepositions, basic supplies and other consumables and we are replenishing them regularly so that they don't uh, expire. We've also done an inventory of basic equipment in the hotspot districts. On oral cholera vaccine, I'm happy to report that uh, the GTFCC approved our request for 5.7 million doses of OCV to vaccinate 11 hotspot districts in Zambia, approximately 2.9 million people. And I must report that as of March 2021, a total of 3.57 uh, million doses to vaccinate seven hotspot districts, about 1.7 million people has already been received. As of today, we have successively vaccinated five out of the seven districts. We are remaining with two districts which we plan to vaccinate in the months of May and June 2021. We have also conducted an OCV CTC, uh, which is controlled temperature chain pilot study. This is to generate evidence on benefits of not using cold chain in some of these uh, places where we are conducting this. Again, we are also doing a, a costing study for the same OCV CTC pilot study that we did, and this is with support from PATH. We also plan to conduct a zero prevalence study with support from the Center for Infectious Disease Research in Zambia, CIDAS, in four hotspot districts. And this is at uh, ethical approval stage. And we are planning that all the 11 districts in the country should be vaccinated by December 2021. So the map of Zambia there is showing the districts where we have done the vaccinations with OCV so far. On risk communication and community engagement, we have been able to prepare the national community engagement plan. And also uh, we have continued actually engaging our community and also sensitization on cholera has continued. We've developed cholera specific messages that are adapted to target, uh, target aud audiences. We've also done partner mapping and identification for risk communication and, and community engagement. On WASH, I will not dwell so much on WASH because my colleague, Mr. Olanda, is going to present, uh, uh, give a comprehensive presentation on WASH. But a few things to note. We have been able to um, actually develop the water supply and investment plan. And there are lots of several projects that are being undertaken to benefit about 3.5 million people in the hotspot districts. Some of these projects include the Carrefour bulk water supply to improve water supply to most parts of Lusaka, the Kaflafuta water supply to improve water supply to the Kobe Belt, the Kaputa water supply and sanitation project to improve wash in the northern part of Zambia. It is at 80% completion. Then we are also doing the safely managed on-site sanitation in all the 10 provinces uh, of Zambia with support from World Health Organization and also construction of modern toilets in the slums of Lusaka. 
What are the challenges? On multi-sector uh, coordination, the full operationalization of the MECP, we've noticed a bit of inadequate inst institutionalization of the MECP by some key stakeholders. There have also been inadequate partner support towards the MECP. There's also little attention given to MECP in some key line ministries due, due to individual ministry organizational priorities. On resource mobilization, a comprehensive advocacy and the resource mobilization strategy has not yet been developed, but the country is working on developing the plan. There's also inadequate bud budgetary allocation to the multi-sector cholera elimination plan in the national budget. On surveillance, laboratory, and case management, we have inadequate number of all equipped CTCs or CTUs, particularly in the hotspots. We have delays in confirmation of cholera by culture due to long distances to different, uh, reference laboratories. We also have uh, inadequate number of community-based surveillance structures in place, and also inadequate transport, particularly ma marine transport for sample and patient referral, as well as contact tracing. These challenges continue some of our places where we are working from and which are hot spots are hard to reach and they become impassable in the rain season as can be seen. So these are some of the things that we are seeing in the country and we're working on. Our overall aim, ladies and gentlemen, is to eliminate cholera in Zambia by I thank you. Thanks a lot. So, so the participants, I, I would suggest if you have questions that you type them in, in the chat box, we're a little bit behind schedule, but this is 